Hey guys, Mike with TSI. Uh, with AC season approaching us, and we're already starting to kick off pretty good, I'm just going to remind everyone how to change the oil in the vacuum pump. Mind you, you're supposed to change the oil every recovery. Every time you vacuum down, you're supposed to change the oil. Right, guys, so what you do is you undo your drain plug here. Once your oil starts flowing, you go ahead, open up your oil fill cap, and remove it and set it aside. That way it'll help the oil drain a little bit faster. Wait till your oil is completely drained, open up your new vacuum pump oil, and then we'll go ahead and fill it up, and we'll show you how to do that next. Alright, once all your oil has been drained, go ahead and tighten up your drain valve, and then open up our vacuum pump oil, insert the tip into the oil fill valve, and now we're going to fill it to the point where it says oil level here. And you fill it up nice and slow. It says oil level here, and that's where we fill up the vacuum pump oil tube through the sight glass. Guys, it'll make it a lot easier if you change your oil right after you're done evacuating the system because the oil will be nice and warm and it'll come out a lot faster if it's cold. So once we get the oil filled, then we just put the cap on. Toss it back in our van, and we're good to go for the next evacuation. All right, guys, now our oil level's full. You can see here that it's up. The sight glass is a halfway full. Go ahead and take your oil fill cap, put it back on. Make sure you secure it down tightly, but not too tightly. Guys, don't use the channel locks to tighten this thing up, because you'll never be able to get it off again. All right, that's your vacuum pump tips. Thanks, and we'll see you at TSI.